Hello, this is Redfin, and welcome to the final pool play match of the NPL Miners Tryout Tournament. And uh, this final final match was against uh, Kyle, aka a potato farmer, coach of the Calgary Flareons. Um, and uh, so his team, as you can as you can see up there, um, was probably my best matchup. I would say um, I liked I liked uh, especially because he actually had an electric type. So, um, Marowak actually had a use, finally. Um, however, this Marowak, um, was a very special use, and basically, uh, faking out the, uh, the Weavile. And, um, not faking out the Weavile, because it's, uh, big. It's screwing with the Weavile, basically. <laughs> um, because it's got the Culverberry, because normally, um, with Weavile, you're gonna, you're gonna expect this thing, to, Marowak, to not stay in on a, on a Weavile, so, um, Usually they stay in and they pursuit. However, the Culverberry, the pursuit's going to do absolutely nothing. And I can take it out with the Flare Blitz. Um, so that was that was the deal here. I also got Stealth Rock because uh, rocks are great. Um, and then we got Toxic uh, in case the uh, in case the Primarina or the Zygarde try to try to come in on this thing. And uh, finally, we have the uh, the Bone Meringue because that takes that beats Infernape as well as uh, as well as Raikou. And uh, so yeah, this is pretty much my lead no matter what. Because I knew I figured he would either lead with Infernape, which uh, which is pretty much free rocks, Weavile, uh, in case in case predicting the Marowak lead, which uh, which is also good for this thing, or the um, or the Fortress, uh, which also just drops uh, Flare Blitz. So I figured there was no reason not to go Marowak here. Um, next up we have uh, we have Rose Raid, and uh, this was actually my my uh, lead, and just in case he brought the Fortress, so I could uh, I could put it to sleep. Um, yeah, basically put it to sleep, set up a bunch of spikes, and then switch into Marowak uh, to block the spin, and then like take it out basically. Um, so this thing is specially defensive because I didn't really have anything to uh, to switch in on the Primarina. Um, so this was really the best I had, and um, so yeah, we got the uh, Sleep Powder Spike, Sludge Bomb, and Synthesis. Sludge Bomb I figured was the best move to have on here because it beats the beats the Primarina, and also uh, and also does a lot to Gorgeist. And uh, and Infernape, so nothing other than the uh, other than the Fortress and the Zygarde really uh, really switch switch in on Sludge Bomb. Um, so yeah, this thing's uh, spit off with a little speed to um, outspeed um, outspeed Mellow. Oh no, it's outspeed uh, Zygarde. Um, Zygarde with no speed investment. Um, and then we got Synthesis because uh, recovery is always nice. Um, next up, we have the Rotom. Um, this thing is actually a bit different. It's actually a Choice Scarf Rotom. And I had this because uh, his team just really does not appreciate Rotom, like, at all. Um, Hydro Pump, uh, Thunderbolt, and Volt Switch pretty much do, like, a number to, like, literally everything on his team, except for the uh, except for the Gorgeist, which um, I had stuff for the Gorgeist anyway. And uh, I actually had the, uh, the... I wanted to run Scarf Trick, and this was because of uh, Zygarde, because this team is really, really fears, uh, really fears Dragon Dance, um, Zygarde. So I was I was kind of afraid of that. So I wanted to have this thing on here just in case that can get out of hand. Or not Dragon Dance, but uh, like Coil, um, because Buzzwool here was was to a deal with Dragon Dance basically with the uh, sub bulk up Leech Life and Earthquake. Um, those those moves hit like everything on this team. So I wanted to do that. And next up we have Mega Diancy, and this is a Rock Polish set because um, I wanted to be able to. Uh, on its bail to basically outspeed the uh, outspeed the Weavile in case it was running. I don't. I don't even know if it gets stoked. I, I I ran I ran I ran Rock Polish for something. Uh, I think it was either Scarf Meloetta, Scarf Scarf something, or whatever. It, it was a while ago. I had I had a reason for running Rock Polish though. Um, but yeah, Moonblast, HP Fire, Diamond Storm just destroys the entire team. Diamond Storm over Power Gem because of uh, Meloetta basically, and uh, and even uh, Primarina because Primarina is much bulkier on the special side. Um, next up, we have uh, Buzzwool. Oh, wait, we already talked about Buzzwool. Um, talk about Scolipede. And uh, this is actually fully offensive Scolipede without uh, without uh, Baton Pass, because I figured if his team was so offensive, I wouldn't really have a chance to pass a speed boost into much anyway. Um, so I decided just to go fully offensive, because this pretty much beats like everything on his team, like literally, except for the except for the Zygarde. The Zygarde was, was probably the biggest threat on his team to me, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's a uh, that's the team. Let's go into the battle here. Uh, I got the music off. That is great. 
So uh, I lead with the Marowak, because um, he didn't bring the Fortress, so I knew he was probably going to lead with either the Infernape or the Weavile. And uh, here, um, <laughs> my plan works right away. Actually, he goes for the Pursuit, because that seems like the obvious play here. However, I'm the Culber, I eat that up, and Weavile is just going to drop to that Flare Blitz. So, um, great start there, as he goes into uh, Primarina, and I easily go into Rose Raid. As he goes to the Scald, and it does absolutely nothing, because Rose Raid is <laughs> just absolute monster on that bulk. So I set up a layer of spikes here. Um, I figured he was gonna go to the uh, Gorgeist to slot, scout for the sleep power, sleep pattern. So I set up a one layer there. As a uh, here he goes into the Gorgeist finally. Let's do go for the go for the sleep powder, I believe, which uh, unfortunate. Um, so here I'm just gonna set up another layer of spikes because I wasn't really sure what this thing's gonna do. So it actually, as he was just scouting as well as it goes for the synthesis, scouting for that HP fire, I guess. However. Um, here I go for the Sludge Bomb, which does absolute ton, and Flamethrower does literally nothing. So, um, Roserade, uh, just, this thing can't really even touch Roserade, so... I'm just free to actually set up my last layer of spikes, and since he doesn't have Fortress, he has no way to remove the release, so... Uh, that was huge for me. As he goes into Zygarde here, as I go for the, uh, Sleep Powder, and he's actually reveals to be Lumberry, so I figured this might be, uh, might be, like, Max Speed Outrage or something, so... Uh, or not Max Speed, but maybe out enough speed to speed investment to outspeed Rose Raid because this has like really like no speed investment. Um, so here I actually go into the uh, go into the Rotom. And I went Rotom here. He goes for the Thousand Arrows. And uh, this is gonna, this probably seems like like a terrible play. However, um, well, okay, like I said here, I thought Levitate uh, worked like the flying type where it Thousand Arrows just does neutral damage the first turn. However, it doesn't. But um, I wouldn't have I would have made the same play even if I knew that. Because basically, um, if I let that thing, if that thing set up a dragon dance, then uh, I just lose pretty much, and uh, you'll see why later. Or, or sorry, you don't see why in this battle. This thing actually had core enforcer and enough and enough to uh, to a KO Buzzwall. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure if this thing went for dragon dance, I just uh, I keep it from from doing anything like right away. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so here I'm going to free, to Di free into Diancy, and I can just click Moon Blast, basically. As, um, yeah, the Primarina can take two, so I didn't want to risk in case this thing was, like, Fizz Def or something. So I'm just going to switch and do a Rose Raid again. Um, this thing actually might have been, uh, AV, and I think it, I think it was. However, Sludge Bomb takes out anyway, so, uh, no problem there. So here goes into Meloetta, and I figure this thing might be Speed Invested too, so I'm going to go into Marowak and... Uh, basically just stack this thing. Um, I really had no other play, so... Merrick's gonna go down, and uh, I'm gonna go into Scolipede. And uh, here I... Here I knew... I, I pretty much... I knew this thing was, was Tanga Berry. Uh, I figured that... that I figured he just had... <laughs> it had to be Tanga Berry. Um, however, this was really my only play anyway, because I had to weaken this thing. I had to pretty much choose something to let die. And... Uh, Scolipede, I felt, was that, so, um, yeah, a bit unfortunate there. I probably should have just stayed in there with Roserade and, 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 uh, Sludge Bomb in case it was, like, Subcalm Mind or something, however, um, yeah, I, 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 I had to, I had to let something die, basically, there, and, uh, yeah, I chose Scolipede, uh, because I knew, uh, if this thing had bulk invested, Diamond Storm doesn't kill. However, now, now Diancy can just come in and easily take this thing out. However, he decides to switch into, uh, the, uh, the Gorgeist here. I'm not really sure why, because, um, Meloetta dies from spikes anyway, so this is pretty much just an easy moon blast here. As, uh, here it goes into, uh, Infernape, and, um, at this point, Diancy was my win con, so, um, and I knew that there was a chance this thing was, like, Scarf Iron Tail or something, and if that was the case, I did not, I did not want to deal with that. So I'm going to go into uh, Rose Raid here, actually, as he goes for the Bloom Doom. So I totally did not predict that. However, he just happened to be uh, having the Bloom Doom. So uh, he's not actually Scarfed. So um, that's good. So basically, Diancy just comes in here and, uh, and cleans up. Uh, Mega Diancy picking up a ton of kills, actually. <laughs> um, because the e, e Speed will do absolutely nothing. Moonblast takes out the, uh, the Zygarde. And then, uh, and then Meloetta can I come in, die to spikes, and, uh, and we win. So, um, yeah, like I said, oh, oops, like I said, this was my, uh, this is my best matchup, uh, for sure. 
and be able to come out with a win. Um, like I said, that Zygarde was a lot of trouble, um, cause if he was, cause since he was Core Enforcer, so uh, yeah. So basically, that Rotom, that Rotom play seemed weird, but um, yeah, basically, if he slid up a Dragon Dance, and uh, I didn't have Scarf Rotom, he would have won basically. So yeah, that that was a uh, that was really spooky. Um, fortunately, that didn't. Uh, Fortunately, that that didn't that didn't cause me to lose because now I now I advance to the bracket round, so uh, I'll have that battle up soon as well. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been Redithin. Uh Sorry, sorry if this commentary has not been that good. These uh, these rematches. I'm just trying, like I said, I'm trying to get back into live com or uh, post com, and uh, I'm not. I much prefer live com, but uh, it's whatever. Um, I, I gotta get good at both. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like or uh, or subscribe or whatever, and I will see you uh, in the uh, something something actually. It might be I'm not even sure what's next because I'm gonna have the uh, whatever. I'll have a video. You should totally watch it. It'll make it'll warm my heart. So uh, yeah, goodbye. <laughs>